It's not any city in the world that gets 600 hectares of blank land right next to it to decide what they're going to do with it. That opportunity is a lot bigger than most people realise. Well, the river has become the centre of Christchurch. It's become the heart of the CBD. Now, it's quite unique to be able to follow a river in an urban setting like that from the centre of the city all the way out to the coast. I think it's a place of huge importance to people and huge potential for a collective identity. Anything that brings people back here is going to help the community that's still here and potentially grow that community. We use it to walk our dogs through there, so we, we go out there quite regularly or even just foraging for flowers and, and fruit. And we have this beautiful natural green corridor and if we can keep that and keep that sort of hard edge a bit further away, then we do have this like worldwide attraction that isn't anywhere else. You could have like a whole kind of gigantic park that could be like 10 times the size of Hagley. I've got two young boys at home. It'd be so neat to um, take them on an adventure to, on, on our bikes. Uh, it'd be cool. To be able to have an active type of setup, people get to experience Christchurch in more of a natural, beautiful way. I love just riding in just like a nice nature rich area and something like a pathway if it had like obstacles and stuff all the way down it that would be tight. We're really lucky to have such a nice river and if it could be cleaned up and maybe you could have some picnic beaches and you could sit and just look at the river in the summertime. I think it would be a great social space for um, whānau, for families to have picnics and barbecues and I think also for events like concerts. We have the opportunity to integrate our society much more closer to nature. I want to see a living space that celebrates our identity, our history, our future, and has some of the Christchurch quirk that we all love. <laughs>